What is up, YouTubers? Johnsy here, and welcome to a, a Super Mario Direct. I was not expecting this, but apparently um, today marks the 35th anniversary of Super Mario Brothers. So, um, they have a little direct here. It's 16 minutes long. Um, I decided to react to it. I didn't watch much of it. I only watched, like, up to this point, as you can tell. Not zero, but, like, a little bit to, uh, where this screen is. So, we're gonna start here, and, um, we're gonna see some new Mario titles. And I'll, yeah. <laughs> It's very, it's very interesting to, I've never actually seen a Mario Direct. I also have lunch on me too, so if I, you know, I'm talking. Honestly too? Super Mario games and products that will be released by spring 2021. Spring. Okay, here we go. So this will be a while. Here's a classic way to play Super Mario Brothers. What we got? The original Super Mario Brothers, which made its debut on NES in 1985, can now be played on this special Game & Watch system. A plus control pad is included, so you can play the game smoothly. Since it's a Game & Watch product, it also functions as a clock. And in honor of the game's 35th anniversary, it comes with 35 little touches to discover. Huh. In addition, you can play the Super Mario Brothers The Lost Levels game on it, as well as an updated version of the title Game & Watch Ball starring Mario. Interesting. Game & Watch Super Mario Brothers will launch November 13. The well, original later. Nintendo handheld gaming system is back in full-color liquid crystal display. Interesting. Multiplayer mayhem Woo. pounces onto the Nintendo Switch system. 3D World's coming back. 3D World Deluxe. I only played a little bit of it before while I was at Hunters. Cool that the 3D world is coming to Switch. Ooh, Shadow World. Like I said, I only played it a little bit, so I don't know everything that happens in the game. Goomba! Of course, Rosalina's in play. Meow. Plus. Oh, they're adding more to it. Probably some more levels or something. What we got added? Cat Mario's by this cat statue. Bowser Fury. Hmm. Flash in this February 12th. Super Mario Brothers game. Welcome to Super Mario Brothers. With 35 players? Whoa, what? Compete against other players near and far in this online battle game. Enemies you defeat will be sent to other players' courses, but this also works the other way around. Ah. Use the item roulette and these four strategies to try to outpace your opponents. Keep going until you're I like these kind of things they've been making. There was Tetris and then this game will be an exclusive offer for Nintendo Switch online members. 
Oh. Super Mario Brothers 35 launches October 1st as a digital only title. Oh, wait. It'll be available for a limited time until March 31st. Oh, okay, yeah, October. That's actually really close. That's literally next month. What could this one be? What? New Mario Kart? What? That's in your house! Excuse me, what? Oh, okay, it's a card thing. Okay, that's pretty neat. Hmm. Oh boy. Can you actually make your own race set? Looks like you can. <clears throat> Pretty neat, but I bet you have to buy your own type of characters as well to race as them. That's pretty neat, though. I'm probably not going to get it, but it looks fun. October 16th. You said by spring. What the hell? These are, like, close. There are even more ways to enjoy 35 years of Super Mario Brothers. From now through March 2021... You can enjoy the 35th anniversary of Super Mario Brothers in these ways. Complete Super Mario related missions and you could receive cool rewards, including a special pin set. Pins are available while supplies last, so get started today and learn more by visiting the official website. Mario Kart Tour mm -hmm. will be having a Super Mario Kart Tour event with special appearances by Mario and Donkey Kong Jr. from the original Super Mario Kart game. Historical Super Mario items and 35th anniversary themed merchandise will be available for purchase at the Nintendo New York store and store.nintendo.com. A 35th anniversary themed Ninji Speedruns course is coming to the Super Mario Maker 2 game. The Super Smash Brothers Ultimate game will oh. be having an in-game online tournament using Super Mario series fighters, stages, and items. Ooh, I might do that at least. Fest is coming to the Splatoon 2 game in January. Keychains will also If be they add Yoshi in the list of Mario characters, I will definitely Splatfest. enter because I could use Yoshi. Physical Splatfest t-shirts will soon be available for purchase online. Super Mario themed furniture will be added to the Animal Crossing New Horizons. Dude, that's game. awesome. And there's more where that came from. Two of my favorite games. Be on the lookout for the following Super Mario themed yeah, Pokemon Sword, there's a Mario themed outfit. <laughs> That you can purchase. Oh, look at all that. Look at all that Mario merchandise. Mario is like the gaming icon in like a whole lot of platforms. I mean, it is. Website and our official Nintendo of America Twitter account. It is the main main mascot. Four classic Mario games in Super Mario All Stars. This collection contains Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers 2, Super Mario Brothers 3, and Super Mario Brothers The Lost Levels. The audio and visuals are upgraded from the original NES and Famicom versions. Super Mario All Stars will be available in the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, Nintendo Switch Online Collection, later today. And I have online, so. That was everything so far. Cool. The next one will be our last announcement. Last announcement? This one's 16 minutes. Hey, I'm only Mario. 9 minutes in. Super Mario 64. Okay, that's coming to the Switch. <clears throat> SMG4 is watching this. He's like, Yes, they brought my boy to life!
For a second I thought it would have been a remake, but no. You know, I want to check something real quick. Yeah, we're only nine minutes in. How long do you have to talk about this game? Mario Sunshine as well? Okay, so they're just adding a bunch of Mario games. Are they adding a bunch of the main, like, Mario games to the Switch now? Because there's Sunshine, there's... Galaxy. Galaxy's gonna be added, too. I'm already calling it right now. Galaxy's coming in as well. If they brought in 64 and Sunshine, they've gotta add Galaxy. what I tell you? What did I tell you? That's interesting. Well, I'm not gonna get Galaxy for the Switch, because I already have it for, um... On Wii, anyways. Which I haven't even actually finished my Let's Play of it at all. I'm probably not even gonna go back to it, though. I wonder if there are some new features. I wasn't really too invested in Tomorrow Galaxy, so I'm not sure. All 3D All Stars. Three Super Mario 3D platforming adventures now in one collection. The Super Mario 3D All-Stars game is coming to the Nintendo Switch system. In addition to having higher resolutions than their original versions, the games have been optimized for a smooth gameplay experience on Nintendo Switch. Plus, music from all three titles will be included in the collection. Oh, in that's music nice. Player mode, you can enjoy your favorite Mario tunes anytime, anywhere. Super Mario 3D All-Stars will launch on September 18th. That's really close. Edition and a digital edition of the game That's like almost two weeks from now. Until the end of March 2021, pre-orders will be available starting today on Nintendo eShop. That's gotta be like 80 bucks, for so, sure. what did you think of our Super Mario Bros. 35th Anniversary Direct? Not bad. As you can see, from the original Super Mario Bros. game to the latest installment, a variety of Super Mario games can be played on Nintendo Switch. No In kidding. Edition, if you include all related games, there are even more available. We hope you'll take this opportunity to play each and every one of them. That's it for our Super Mario Brothers 35th Anniversary Direct. We'd like to close with a look back at the history of Super Mario Brothers. Thank you for watching and playing. Oh, neat. <laughs> now if you want to see the evolution. I say this direct was okay. I think it was really cool that they were actually bringing back a lot of the, um, old games, especially the three platforms, like Mario 64, Sunshine, and Galaxy. That's interesting. I think at this point, I think people are probably not going to expe expect a Galaxy 3, unfortunately. Super Mario Bros. 2. Mario Land. This is pretty good. Cool. Especially September. I also do want to add, we did have two other Directs happen just recently. We had a mini, uh, a mini Nintendo Direct. We had an Indie Direct just recently in like the end of August. And it's like the start of September, so you put two, two together. It's a Mario World. I swear, we're getting a lot of directs. They just don't want to put them all into one singular direct now for some reason. But this one I can honestly understand because it's like... You know, it's specifically for Mario stuff. There's Mario 64. Four years before I was born. I thought when I saw it, I thought it was like, no, they made a remake, didn't they? But no. It's like they showed it a little bit at the start. Is it going to be a remake of uh, Mario 64? Or... 
Because if that was the case, I would have been like, okay, there's hope for a DK64 remake. There's Super I played that game before. I think I still have it. I don't know where it is exactly. But I think I still have it. Yeah, bring out the Turtle Shell one. Or Super Mario Maker 2. That one was fun. There's the original Mario Galaxy. In 2007. I also like there's a like there's a whole bunch of Mario games that can be played. Again, there's Mario Wii. 2009. Once again, another let's play I never finished. 3D Land for the 3DS. I have that game. I never actually played it for the channel. Even when I was doing 3DS stuff back then. And then 3D World for uh, the Wii U, which is 2013. Odyssey! I remember playing this game. This game was fun, though. If you guys remember my Let's Play on that. The Odyssey! Of course, Odyssey would be the last one. Not really a new major Mario game, but still pretty interesting. Oh, look, and look who's there to show us off, Mr. Sakurai. Still no new character, huh? <clears throat> but yeah, um, this uh, Mario Direct was pretty interesting. Um, I guess I'll look back through it a little bit, just through some certain points. Um, pause that. Um, let's see. I think that's pretty cool. A little game console for the um, original Mario Bros. is pretty cool. Uh, not to mention Super Mario World 3D World is coming to the Switch. It's one of the last games that's been ported in. Well, I guess now ported in was the 3D platforms. Um, and then an added bonus to it, which is interesting, which is going to be released February 12th. I think just before back Valentine's Day. Two days before. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then... Oh yeah, and then this gauntlet. 35 players against each other. I think that's pretty interesting. Um, once again, it kind of took the uh, Tetris 99 sort of thing and uh, made it into Mario this time. I like the theme that they went for that. And of course it's for online, so I can play it if I want. I think this one was very interesting. The Mario Kart uh, figure thing. I think they would like add like different design characters and stuff, but like, yeah, you'd have to buy every single individual one if you want to race around your house. I think it's a really cool concept. I'm uh, for me, I'm not gonna get it myself because well, I don't really have a lot of space in my own room for that. Like, if anything, I'd have to make it like a small track with like, um, like nine laps. But still, I think it's a really cool concept, if anything. And if anything, I pro if there was a Yoshi and Diddy Kong one, I would probably get those, at least. And play um, that kind of thing with that. It's interesting. I'll definitely look up some stuff about it. Maybe I'll get away later in the future. I think it's very interesting with some of this uh, extra Mario, um, gift stuff that's going on. Apparently there's like stuff that's going to be added into Animal Crossing with Super Mario, which is awesome. And then there's also going to be the tournaments happening in Smash Bros. And stuff to two of my favorite games. I mean, hey, why not? And hell, I might go for that tournament if Yoshi's available. I mean, I feel like he might, but like, Yoshi's not really considered a Mario character in uh, Super Smash Bros. He's kind of considered his own character from Yoshi's land in his own thing. But if it's possible, then I will play as him. And maybe Diddy Kong, I'm not sure. I don't know if Diddy Kong will be added because, well, I mean, there's also Donkey Kong. And Donkey Kong had a lot more major games than Yoshi did. So I don't know if Donkey Kong or Diddy Kong are going to be added 
into that as well, but eh, who knows. Maybe when the event happens, maybe that's when uh, Sakurai will say that Waluigi is allowed in Smash. But uh, yeah, they have like a lot of Mario stuff as well. Um, oh yeah, and then of course the last one was <clears throat> the 3D uh, platform All-Stars, which is very interesting. Um, there's actually something I should check. Um, I might as well do this on camera. Oh yeah, here's my little menu, guys. So don't mind me. So as we can kind of check right now, and it didn't take too long. Uh, New Rules Series 6. Interesting. Um, yeah, I, was, I also came back from uh, a live stream just a little while ago, so if, I, if my voice does sound a little off, then it's because I was literally in like a four-hour live stream. Oh yeah, you saw all my little accounts there. I put family there just in case. Huh? What? Why? Okay, now it worked. Oh, what the hell? That, okay, something is definitely different because... This is red. I guess it's a Mario Mario event that really is gonna go on until then. Um but I guess you can pre order these. What's Bowser Fury? What is that? Yeah, eighty bucks figured. Yeah, not much for showing the Bowser Fury. Interesting. Five gigabytes, interesting. Probably not gonna get it because it's too much. This is probably eighty bucks as well. Yep, eighty bucks. But I think it's interesting to buy like get all these games in uh the 3D platform. This is for September 18th, which is very, very close. Like, boy. I feel like Hunter might grab this. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Okay, as you can see, things are a little different. Recent releases. Uh, unfortunately, still no DK64 remake. I doubt all that's gonna be happening. Wish list is still gonna be the same. Oh yeah, I grabbed this because I huh, I like the loading thing. I had like a Mario 64. I saw this one and I thought it looked interesting. I think it was uh, in the recent thing. I didn't see anything with Subnautica yet. But yeah, these are kind of the games I've been wanting to try to get eventually. But I, mean, I guess I can add those into my wish list. You know what? I'm gonna do that. Just because they look interesting, I'll put this into like wish list. It's gonna be when I actually have a lot more money to use up. I wanna save the more of it for college and stuff, but I'll put it in favorites and stuff. Alright, so I guess that's gonna be it for this uh, little um, video here. I think uh, all the new stuff that Mario stuff was interesting. And I do wanna also uh, take the, a moment to talk about some certain things. Um, I think I said this in my uh, Animal Crossing thing, but I think, if anything, people will probably watch this a bit more through the end. And with uh, Nintendo Direct, especially since we are pretty much doing this Direct as well, thing is, I know with the last two Directs, I didn't do a video on them at all. Um, thing was, I was thinking Indie World in a different style, but I was like, eh, I'm not sure. The thing was, I mean, there's also going to be the case that I'm not going to be always around at the time when the videos or streams of Nintendo Directs are released. And the thing is, I might get spoiled before I even see it, so there's also that case. And just the fact that, especially nowadays, that they keep spinning out Directs here and there a bunch of the times, like small little Directs, like we should get like a... A Nintendo Direct Mini, like, every month. Like, if anything, we're probably going to get another Nintendo Direct Mini in between, like, probably um, September 26th to September 30th. We're probably going to get another Mini Direct then. And maybe even sometime this month there might be something with Pokemon, because we are getting close to fall, so the Crown Tundra will be uh, being announced soon. And I do feel like we might get another announcement because, well, for like Smash Bros. And my one reason for Smash Bros. still is, I mean, 
It's been at least over two months. I know it's been two months since Min Min was released. I know that much. The thing was, we we knew about an ARMS character coming out, and I know Min Min was kind of different from there, but, I mean, yeah, one or the other. It's still been a while since we've gotten an official different character announcement. Like, literally, this one year was mostly focused on Min Min, and that was it. Well, Min Min not knowing it was Min Min, but still. Like, I still feel like we might get one new more character this uh, year. Which is unfortunate because I thought in one of the other Nintendo Direct uh, minis that happened, I thought we might have gotten one bit of information about a new character probably coming out like maybe this month or like 2 November or something. But we didn't get anything yet. But yeah, um, I'm thinking I'm not going to do a video on every single Direct from now on. Like, only major ones. Like... Maybe a mini direct from here and there, and like some special ones like this if it's talking about a specific thing. Like if it's Smash Bros, maybe Animal Crossing, now that I'm interested in it. If it's a Pokemon direct, maybe even a Sonic direct. I don't know, a Sonic direct, but you know. And like, you know, and then like normal major ones, and of course E3 ones. If there's like some specific ones on there, then I will do a video on them. I may not do a reaction video exactly about them because. Chances are, I might have gotten spoiled beforehand. Plus, I mean, there was, um, when Byleth was, uh, released, or, like, was announced, I was kind of already spoiled with it. I didn't believe my friends when they said there was going to be another Fire Emblem character. I was like, nah, there's no way. And then I saw the direct and I was disappointed. <laughs> then is, I just kind of watched it on my own time. I was like, eh, screw it, I'll just watch it on my own time. Because I, I just couldn't wait. I was going to get spoiled anyways. It was just that kind of case, so, I just, so, like, there will be moments, even in, like, some cool direct stuff, like, stuff I would be completely on point with, and wanted to do a video on, uh, they'll be more likely talking about those specific directs, and, like, I probably won't do my full-on reaction, but, like, I'll be like, and I'm very happy that this character's finally out, or whatever. But yeah, that's kind of that's kind of gonna be my plan for Nintendo Directs from now on. I am gonna keep watching them because some of them might be interesting. Like I know the um, in the N Nintendo Direct Mini, or was it then, or was it Indie World? I don't know. They're so close together, I couldn't tell. But I know uh, Subnautica and Subnautica Below Zero is coming out for Switch, which I loved watching that uh, series on Mark and Jack's channels. So. You know, yeah, interesting to come to the Switch, and once I have money for it, I will get it, you know? <laughs> It'll be fun. But, okay, I'm gonna just stop talking there. I've already finished up my lunch during that. And other than that, uh, Mario Direct was pretty good. And uh, here's to the next Direct, whenever it might happen. Next one might be near the end of the month. Or we might get another surprise Pokemon or Smash Bros. Direct, probably. Who knows? But for now, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys like this video, press the like button or subscribe to whatever. And I'll see you dudes in the next video. See you dudes next time.